Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share my top tips on how to look expensive on a budget. I think the reality is most of us don't have thousands of dollars just lying in our bank account waiting to be spent on some really nice, new, beautiful and really high end pieces. So I wanted to share some of the tricks that I've been using over the years to make my outfits look a little bit more expensive than they actually are while they're still not breaking the bank. First of all, I want to dispel the myth that high quality means high price tag. What I have found over the years of experimenting with different brands and experimenting with different basics and things is that price doesn't always mean quality. So I have bought $100 t-shirts that have not held up at all, that have bubbled after one or two washes, but then I've spent maybe $20 on a t-shirt and it has been perfect, pristine, been able to survive countless washes in the washing machine without actually uh, getting any kind of bubbles to it or anything like that, no degradation to the fabric. So I really think the key here is selecting really wisely when it comes to shopping on the high street as you can definitely get really beautiful high quality items without breaking the bank. My second tip is to build your outfit around neutrals. This is a really classic and timeless way of dressing and I always just think it looks a lot more luxurious than it necessarily may be. For instance, uh, I recently posted this beautiful rust colored midi skirt on my Instagram and on my blog and I honestly think that this looks a lot pricier than it is. It's a very simple cut as well, simple silhouette, but it just looks really high quality even though it didn't cost me a lot of money. I think this was under seven because I managed to stamp it up with a discount code. Another piece that I've got which I think looks much more expensive than the actual price tag I paid for it are these really lovely little linen shorts. They're almost sort of like a safari style short and these again they cost me less than $60. They're actually 100% linen and I just think that they've got some details on them that makes them look really high end and like I would have maybe spent a lot more on them than I actually did. So as you probably know from most of my outfits, I really tend to gravitate towards neutrals and I do really like that mix of high end and high street. I think that it pairs really well. And again, it just helps to really elevate a look and look a lot more stylish and a lot more expensive. My next tip is to get things tailored so that they fit you perfectly. When an item fits you like a glove, honestly, I feel like it just looks a lot more expensive and like you spent a lot more money than you actually did. Uh, for example, I recently bought a pair of trousers from Topshop during the Black Friday sales and I found that they were a little bit too long for me. So I got them tailored so that they were the perfect length on me so that they would look really chic. Uh, these are the trousers in question and honestly, I just think having them tailored so that they fit me a lot better is the key to making a more affordable piece just look a little bit more expensive than it is so this could be things like nipping in the waist if you've got a skirt that is maybe a little bit too wide for you or fits you perfectly at the hips but is just baggy around the waist or maybe you found a really beautiful blazer but it just doesn't hug the contours of your body the way you want it to the one thing I will say with tailoring is to be aware of what a tailor can do they're not magicians so they won't be able to perform miracles but I have found that if you are conscious of what you can do you can really change the way a piece looks and really elevate it and make it look a lot more special and a lot more high-end Kind of following on from getting items tailored, I'd also say that you can make an item look more expensive than it was by changing the buttons up. So for example, I've got this H&M blazer here and it's just got some really simple plain plastic buttons on here. If I change these, which is such an easy fix, it would literally take me less than 10 minutes. I think that this would look even more high end. So that's just a really easy way. Buttons are very inexpensive as well. You're not gonna be spending a lot of money. So definitely something I would recommend doing if you're wanting to switch things up a bit. Now, one thing that I find on the high street that tends to look a lot more expensive than it is are really simple patterns. So things that aren't too busy and that are maybe a lot more timeless as well, which is why I tend to look for things like polka dots. I got this polka dot top with the ruffle sleeves from Sports Girl a few years ago now, a couple of years ago, and it was really inexpensive. It cost me under $30, and honestly, I do think it looks a lot more high-end than it is. You guys will have seen this quite a lot. Uh, another really staple piece, and I think something everyone should have in their wardrobe, a classic Breton stripe top. Now, this one is from Cos, and I actually got this on sale, and it cost $25 which is incredibly affordable but I think the type of piece it is it's really classic it's the kind of thing that you'd expect to have in your wardrobe for years it just looks expensive it kind of says it's 
much more high-end than it is even though I know it didn't cost me too much at all. The final sort of more subtle printed piece that I wanted to share which I think looks more high-end than it is is a pair of check trousers these are high-waisted and again just very very simple classic print which I really don't think that you can go wrong with and a really nice silhouette as well just really beautifully tailored so definitely stick to simple patterns if you want to look more expensive I find that really busy prints can look a little bit cheap especially if the fabric is not a high quality or natural fiber the next tip is to look for expensive fabrics. So these are natural fibers as opposed to man-made or synthetic fibers. Things like linen, cotton, wool, uh, cashmere, if you can find it, those sorts of materials are always going to look more expensive than they actually were, especially if you're buying them from the high street. So again, as I mentioned, linen shorts, great one to go for. If you have a little bit more budget to spare, I would definitely recommend going for cashmere if you can. Everlane, I think, do a really affordable sort of a cashmere sweater. I've got this one here, which honestly, really simple design. This is actually, I think, the most expensive piece I've got to show you here. But very, very simple design, but there's just little elements to it, which I think make it look really really high end it's got this nice ribbed weave to the material and then it also has this design detail which has got the slightly flared out sleeves so definitely worth looking for more expensive fabrics boucle is definitely another fabric that i think looks really high and expensive and is one that you tend to see a lot at zara which has a really affordable price point one thing I think that High Street does really well is classic tailoring and honestly some of my favourite tailored pieces have actually been on the more affordable end of the spectrum and I kind of wanted to share those with you and I think that tailoring is a really great way to kind of look a little bit more expensive in general. So wearing a nice blazer that is lined or wearing a really well cut trouser. Now that blazer that I showed you before this is from H&M and again really inexpensive it was under $80 but it's kind of made out of this really beautiful woven check material and it has a bit of texture to it so again it kind of looks like there's a little bit more detail in the fabric it has the pockets on the lapel it is fully lined as I mentioned and I just think it's a really nice kind of a tailored piece and something that I see myself wearing for a really long time for years and years to come which I kind of think is the key when you are even buying from the high street you don't want to buy something for now to love it for a little while you really want to be buying things that you're going to be able to love for a long time the other item I wanted to mention are a pair of trousers and these are from Uniqlo and I've talked about these so much they look like they're a wool they're actually uh, not they're a synthetic but they're really high quality they have a stretch waistband which is great very easy to throw on and you just tuck something in and these again I just think they look way more expensive than they were much higher than the price tag which I think they set you back around 50 or 60 Australian dollars so definitely not bad at all so those are probably two places I would suggest going to have a little look if you are on the hunt for some tailoring and you really want to uh, elevate your outfit and make it look a little bit more expensive my final tip when it comes to looking more expensive when you are on a budget is to look to the runway, especially around fashion week. You can get so many different styling ideas and you can get a really good sense of what silhouettes are going to be popular for the season ahead. By incorporating those different cuts and silhouettes into your outfit, even though you're on a budget, I really think that you can elevate your look and make it look a bit more expensive and a bit more high end. How many times have I said that in this video? I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I know that there are a lot of you out there who don't necessarily have the budget to invest in some of the items that I share on my channel. So as a little bit of a reminder, I just wanted to say that you definitely do not need to spend a lot to look expensive or to have a really chic and classic wardrobe. A lot of it is really all about finding the right fabrics, finding the right cut, and honestly having a keen eye for tailoring, just making sure that everything fits you perfectly. That is the best way to elevate your look, make you look polished and make you look chic. That is it from me today. I hope you enjoyed it again and I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.